why hasn't there been a Christian response to this dinosaur stuff? Where, the, what the Christians did in the 1800s is they compromised their Bible with the gap theory to accommodate the dinosaurs, and then they let Satan have the dinosaurs. That's what happened, exactly. But anyway, there are 16 theories of what happened to the dinosaurs. One theory says an asteroid struck the Yucatan Peninsula in you know, Mexico and killed them 65 million years ago. A scientist here in Indiana said, the dinosaurs killed themselves off with their own flatulence. <laughs> they could not stand the heat. I'm not sure what to do about a theory like that, but here's the real reason they went extinct. Mm, smoking. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, what, what made the dinosaurs go extinct? Do you realize they're asking the wrong question? The question is not what made them go extinct. The question is, did they go extinct? See, the liberals are always real good at getting us to argue about the wrong subject. They're always asking me, should we have creation taught in public schools? I say, that's a good question, and I would be glad to discuss that. However, there's another question we should ask first, okay? The real question is, should we have public schools? Mm -hmm. Let's argue that one for a while first, okay? And if we're going to have them, then we'll discuss what should be taught in them and who decides what is taught in them. I mean, does Bill Clinton decide what's taught, or does Osama bin Laden decide what's taught, or maybe you should decide, maybe I should decide. See, the whole problem is, some people have this idiot idea that children belong to the state. No, no, no. You see, children belong to God, and they are entrusted to parents. And the parents should decide what God wants them to be taught. The state does not ever have any children. It is sterile, okay? It can't have children. Okay, so they want to steal yours. That's another long, interesting story. But anyway, the Tenth Amendment to the Constitution says the federal government only has certain very limited powers, and anything else is left to the states. The federal government has no business being involved in education or welfare or hurricane relief or anything else. No business at all. If you want to see why the schools went public, get this many good articles, one by Samuel Blumenfeld that's incredible about why we have a public school system. It's all part of the plan for a new world order. Big part of the plan. Get our college class, CSE 102. I teach college classes on creation where we go into much more detail, you know, chase every rabbit and kick every dog, and you can get that if you get time. But anyway, dinosaurs getting off the ark had a very difficult time. The climate had changed. Things were different. Remember, before the flood, they lived to be 900. Read your Bible. After the flood, they only lived to be 400, and then 200, and then 100. Something changed. Well, for one thing, that canopy overhead was gone. Number two, the soil was now not loaded with minerals like it's supposed to be to have plants grow like crazy. And the atmospheric pressure was different. The canopy had collapsed. It was gone, I believe. Sunlight was now getting through, radiation, etc. Much, Many more problems in the post-flood environment. Dinosaurs had two problems. Number one, the climate change. 